Welcome to the Edge, everybody. This weekend, it's the first without football to talk about since the summer, uh, but it works out quite well for our outdoor enthusiasts. Yesterday, the opening of sturgeon spearing season looks like it could go on for a while. You know, it's scheduled to go all 16 days if indeed they don't hit these triggers or these caps. And well, they are still a long ways away on Lake Winnebago. As you can see, uh, only three on Sunday in the juvenile female, seven adult males, 11 males right now, still far away from all of the caps on Lake Winnebago. Now, upriver lakes, that's a totally different story. They're getting closer on upriver lakes. In fact, adult females will probably hit your 95% trigger tomorrow and could even push it all the way over the top. Now, with their uh, upriver lakes were the place to be on day one of the sturgeon spearing season. 140 fish were harvested, and Jude Wilbur says the results just as staggering day two. There's a palpable excitement in the air whenever sturgeon is registered at a station. And occasionally, when you cut into the belly of a big fish like this one, there's an added surprise. Black eggs, which means the fish would have laid them in the spring, and the harvesting of this fish allows the DNR a chance to better understand the sturgeon. So they're trying to figure out the survival of the eggs to larval and juveniles to adults. and. And a big part of the study is determining how many eggs an individual female will deposit in the spring. I like sturgeon spearing and keep the population going if that helps them. That's great. Here at Critters in Winnick County, it's been a constant flow of fish coming to the table being checked in. And success like that is why the upriver lakes are limited to 250 lottery drawn licenses. It's really great. It's a privilege. In fact, so few and far between years that you can actually get out here. No, I'm usually on Winnebago and watching a black hole. For Jamie Brenner, there was a sense of excitement and relief as he became the fourth member of his family to harvest a sturgeon this season. Unbelievable. And uh, we got them all out of my brother, Shani. Kind of long and quiet and uh, just adrenaline rush when that fish comes through the hole. Since the harvest cap system came into place in 1999, it's taken no more than 10 days to reach the trigger number on the upriver lakes, but that success rate doesn't make the harvesting of one of these behemoths any less special. I'm happy for any spear that got a fish. It's a, it's a great feeling. I mean, to sit out there and actually be able to harvest one of these these trophies. They, they really are. In the land of the sturgeon, or Winnicani, Jude Wilbur's Fox 11 Sports.